Hello, gorgeous souls. Welcome to your weekly astrology. Now, it may sound <clears throat> as if I've got a frog in my throat. I have lost my voice. In fact, I can only just speak today. So I wasn't going to do this, but I could not let you down, particularly as it's airy season beginning. I better maybe calm down that loud talking. Um, so these may be short because I want to fit everyone in before I lose my voice again. But this week has much potential. We have Mercury, the planet communication, going into luscious Pisces, making us have a bit more empathy for each other. We want to speak with sweet and seductive words. And then we got the fire of the sun in Aries and the drama of Venus in Aries. Here's your weekly astrology. <laughs> Delicious, adorable, fabulous, fantastic, psychic and stupendous Pisces. A friend of mine who's an astrologer refers to this week for you as an uh, the, welcome to the after party. We're just leaving season Pisces and going into season Aries, but the after party, it's going to feel like that th this week. And you've also got Mercury, the planet of communication in your sign. So yeah, you know, there's that little bit of boost and you're communicating really beautifully. You're seeing and thinking clearly because Mercury is about what we think, not just about what we say. Other people are messaging you, communicating with you. There's a flurry of activity when it comes to your ideas and you're excited and confident about what you've got to say. So that is good. That is your after party vibes. Now the sun is sextile Pluto and also Venus is sextile. Pluto and the Sun and Venus are, are in your sign. So that is even more after party vibes because you're like, whoa, you know, there's a, a peak experience of Pluto is about transformation and change. And you're drawing to you the right kind of people and the right experiences and the right collaborators to have a, a gift this week. But also super important, you are like a walking magic wand. Where do you want to point your energy? Your words and your thoughts are spells because Mercury is in your sign. And also because the Sun and Venus are in your sign up until it goes switches to Aries. And they're sextile. Sextile is a great thing. Pluto, the Lord of Transformation, in your manifestation zone. What does that mean? Cast out your spells. Cast out your dreams. Believe in the magic that lives within you. I am always reminding you of that because it is super important. When, when you know that, when you know how magical you are, when you believe it, when you trust it, woo, everything changes for you. So, okay, the sun and Venus are going into Aries, kissing you goodbye. And believe me, it is a long and lingering kiss of fabulousness. Um, and then the energy for you is all about grounding yourself, security, feeling safe within yourself, building solid foundations, and thanks to Venus, drawing abundance to you. So it's all good, baby. This week has a lot to offer you. I am sending you so much love. I believe in you. The universe believes in you. The cosmos believe, believes in you. Now you must truly believe in you in a new way. And most importantly, use the magic this week. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon.